here, I notice that there's something being squared. And I'm thinking to myself, ooh, if I had this by itself, I could square root it and get rid of that squared. So let's get that by itself on one side of the equal sign here. So I'm going to subtract 5 first. That's going to get me x minus 4 squared equals 81. And then I can say, oh, you know what? I have something squared here. Let's go ahead and square root it and square root it. So when I square root, the square root and the squared are inverses. They undo each other and leave me with just what's inside, x plus 4. And the square root of 81 is negative 9 or positive 9, right? Because negative 9 times negative 9 is 81, and positive 9 times positive 9 is 81. So then I'm left with two equations. And in both cases, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Here I get x equals negative 5. And here I get x equals 13. So I'll enter in my answers. Smaller answer first, then larger answer.